it is you always have to start that when I'm trying to get a bit of shut eye. That's all I needed. I'm off somewhere quieter. Oh, you stupid fool! Mind your own business, spoil sport. Go and get out of it. What's the matter with everyone today? I was only having a game with a bit of cord. That bit of cord could kill you. Oh, don't be so silly. It's an electric flex. You don't play games with electricity. Any cat knows that. Hey, wait a minute. They use electricity all over this house. I didn't think it was dangerous. It isn't if you use care and common sense. So what are you going on about? About children like you who do stupid things or take chances or just don't know what to look out for. Flexes like the one you were playing with are perfectly safe, but they can become frayed, split or worn. Particularly on appliances that are moved about a lot. But she's not a kid. Who's telling this story, you or me? Sorry. Hmm. It's a good idea to check the flex of an appliance every time you use it. And get it replaced at once? If there's anything wrong... Mm -hmm. You're beginning to catch on. Mind you, damage to flexes is often caused by people who don't stop to think what they're doing. Flexes are made to conduct electricity, not to stand up to very high temperatures. And they're certainly not meant to be used in a tug of war. What's the matter, Dad? The flex isn't long enough. Not to worry, I've got another bit in the shed. I'll join that on. Oh, that's a stupid thing to do. Never, never try to join two pieces of flex with tape like this. It isn't mm -hmm. safe. If you have to join flex together, always use a proper connector. All right, that should do it. Joins made with tape are even more dangerous out of doors where they can get wet. Just think what would have happened if you'd been having a game with a flex that had been joined like that. A lot of the things you were talking about were not the fault of kids at all. It's the parents who were to blame. Of course, some accidents are caused by grown-ups who should know better, but they can be caused by children who don't stop to think or who don't realize what they're doing, or just copy their parents. You mean copy cats? <laughs> Safety is no laughing matter. Don't forget that plugs can be damaged, too. Hi. Here you are. I'm afraid the batteries are a bit flat, but you can plug it in at the mains. Great. Wait a minute, this plug's broken. Oh, no. But surely you can plug it in somehow. No, too risky. Wait a minute, I know what this is spare. Shouldn't you wait till Dad gets home? No, fitting a plug is easy. There's a label that tells you what to do. Look. Green and yellow for earth, brown for live, blue for neutral. Fitting a plug may be easy, but it still makes sense to let a grown-up do it. Or at least check it after you've done it. To make sure the right colour is in the right place. And properly got the right fuse. Oh, that's a 13-amp fuse. What's wrong with that? Fuses like that are meant to protect big machines like vacuum cleaners and spin dryers. Things like that cassette player only need a 3-amp fuse. That should do it. Put the plug in. That way you can be sure that if anything goes wrong with the appliance, the fuse will blow at once. Try it now. Mm -hmm. 
I wouldn't be dancing like that if there was a wrong fuse in the plug and the flex was lying on the floor like a trip wire. I didn't half give my head a bang when I tripped over that wire. Well, I would have if I'd have been there. That's why flexes should never run across the floor. The shorter they're kept, the safer they are. I suppose you were too busy dancing around to notice something else. Eh? That socket the boy plugged into. What's wrong with that? It's best to have a separate socket for every appliance. Right now. But if you do use an adapter, Make sure it's the sort that has a proper fuse. But it's still better to put only one plug in a socket. I'm glad I live in a nice, safe house. Every house is safe if people follow the rules. The kitchen is one place where you've got to be especially careful. There are more electrical appliances here than anywhere else in the home. There's also plenty of water, and water conducts electricity. Never, ever touch a plug or a switch, or any electrical appliance with wet hands. And if you let a flex hang over a sink like this, you're just asking for trouble. another stupid thing to do. Always switch off and unplug at the wall socket before filling kettles or steam irons. I never thought water could be so dangerous. Well, now you know. So watch it. There could be a loose wire or damaged flex. <laughs> I'm never going to go near anything electric again when I'm wet. That's for sure. Don't forget that there's water in the bathroom, too. It's no place to use portable appliances like hair dryers, even if they're plugged in outside. What about razors? The boss uses one every day. Only because it's got a special socket which is safe for shavers only. And like all the wiring in this house, it was installed by a professional electrician. Well, I know I'm going to treat electricity with respect in future. There's nothing to be frightened of, provided you use... Care and common sense. Oh, exactly. Remember, keep your eyes open for worn or damaged flexes. And never join two pieces of flex together with tape. <coughs> Even if you know how to fit a new plug, make sure it's got the right fuse. Always try to put only one plug in the same socket and don't leave trip wires lying around. Don't fill things like kettles and steam irons when they are plugged in. And never handle plugs, switches or any electrical appliance with wet hands. Electrical accidents in the home don't happen very often, but even one accident is one too many. So follow the rules. And you'll be as safe as houses. Bring <laughs>